Hey everyone, welcome back to the common YouTube channel. Today we are gonna see if something as small and cheap as the Raspberry Pi Pico could mine Duino coins. So the Pico board features an RP2040 microcontroller chip which is a dual core ARM Cortex ML Plus processor with a flexible clock running up to 133 MHz. In addition to that, it has 264KB of on-chip SRAM and 2MB of onboard flash memory. It also comes with a micro USB port connection. So that's it in brief about the specs, now let's get started. Before you get started, you guys would need to have the Arduino ID installed for this and if you don't have that, just head over to the official website and you can download the ID from here within few clicks. Now heading back to the Duino coin website, if you are new here, click on web wallet and then click on register, enter the details here and you can register your new Duino coin account. Now heading back to the home page, click on the latest release. And from here, you can download the latest Duino coin package by clicking on the source code zip file. So once you're done with installing and extracting the Duino coin package, click on the Arduino code folder and launch the Arduino program. And this is the code that we are going to upload to the Raspberry Pi Pico board. Now why we're using the Arduino ID is because Arduino now has an official board package that supports the Raspberry Pi Pico boards. So now you don't have to install any additional files or the Tony ID to get started with mining. All you have to do is head over to tools, then to boards, click on board managers, give it a few minutes for it to load and then search for Pico here. And here you would find the Arduino Embed OS RP2040 boards by Arduino and that supports the Raspberry Pi Pico board. Select the latest version and hit install. Now this installation process can take anywhere between 4 to 5 minutes. Ok so now that the package is installed, let's close this and connect our Pico board to our system. Ok so let's connect our Pico board to the PC. Now one important thing is you don't have to press down this boot select button and plug the board in as you usually do with a Pico board in this case. Because if you do, your Pico board would act as a mass storage device and you would not be able to upload the codes through the Arduino ID. So without pressing down the board select button, connect your board and that's it, let's head back to the PC. So once you connect your Pico board, head over to tools and then to boards. Go to RP2040 boards and there you'll find the Raspberry Pi Pico. Select that and now let's select the COM port. So in my case it's COM6 where my Raspberry Pi Pico is connected. Let's select that and now let's upload this code. Alright so the code has been uploaded to my Pico board. Now what we have to do is we have to head back to the Duino coin package and we have to open the AVR miner. Now there are a few details that you have to enter here starting off by which they would ask you the username of your Duino coin account. After that, you have to enter the COM port to which your Pico board is connected. In my case, it's COM6. Hit enter and then they would ask you if you want to add any other boards. I'm not adding any additional boards so I'll go with no. And then they would give you an option to choose a regnifier name. I would give the name as Pico01. Hit enter. And then you have to set a donation level and I'm going with the recommended level of 1. Hit enter once again and if everything is working fine, your Pico board should start mining in few minutes. So you can see it's connected to the Duino coin server and AVR mining thread has started. Now this is something that I've observed. Every time I start mining using my Pico board, the first 3 times it gets rejected. However, after that, all the shares starts getting accepted. I don't know why this happens, but if anyone out there knows why, please do let me know in the comment section. So let's leave that there. Let's minimize this and let me open up my Duino coin web wallet. Alright, so we are in the Duino coin dashboard right now and if you guys have been following me through my previous videos, then you can see that the Duino coin team have made some pretty cool UI updates to the Duino coin dashboard. Right here they have added 
the Duna coin exchange rates for the coin Maggie, Bitcoin Cash, Tron, Nodus, and just swap to the Duna coin dashboard. Apart from that, they have made some rearrangements and all other features remain the same. Overall, this does look great. Now, coming back to the boards, my Pico board, the Pico 01, is mining at a hash rate of 2.95, almost 3 kilo hashes per second. And looks like it's gonna mine me like 2 to 3 Duna coins a day. Anyways, I'm planning to stack a few of these Pico boards with a Raspberry Pi 4 and build a mining rig out of it. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys that in my next video. So if you guys don't want to miss out on that, consider subscribing and enable the notification bell. Now there's one very important update that I have to share with you guys and that is Dunacoin recently released the official Dunacoin store where you can get the Duna merch like this awesome shirt and there are a lot more like mugs, hoodies, laptop stickers etc etc all of them where you can find them right here. So if you like it do visit store.doinacoin.com and you can find the awesome merch here. I'll leave the link of that in the description as well anyway. So that's it for this video guys. Hope this helps. If yes, don't forget to leave a like. And also let me know in the comments section if there are any other boards that you guys would like me to mine Duna coins on. I'll definitely take a note on that. See you guys with more mining videos. Happy mining.